Climate change isn't something that's going to happen in the future. It's happening right now and it's affecting all of our lives and the lives of people all across the world. And it's not something that we can just sit back and wait for other people to take action on. It's something which we have to go out and fight for our government to make changes. And the situation in Aberdeen is quite dire at the moment. Thousands of people have been losing their jobs. And the government aren't putting the money into investing into creating alternative jobs for these people and ensuring that they can have sustainable and stable jobs. I'm here today to protest the lobbying practices of advocacy groups like Oil and Gas UK, which in 2015 have lobbied the UK government for £1.7 billion in uh, subsidies to prop up a dying industry. This is not only immoral, but it is also illogical in a time when we need to tackle climate change fast uh, in order to survive in the, the 21st century. We're here today um, at Jean Clemens of the Earth Europe to support um, a transition away from an economy based on fossil fuels to an economy based on renewable energy. And we're outside Oil and Gas UK specifically because they are continuing to lobby the government for tax breaks and subsidies um, at a time when the industry is actually in decline. So instead, we want to see the government support um, the creation of new, secure, greener jobs in industries such as renewable energy. We want to see workers and their communities put at the forefront of this. What's brought you to Aberdeen in particular? Uh, so Aberdeen is sometimes said to be the, the oil capital of Europe, so it was a really key place to come and first test and talk about it. Also, it's a place where there's a lot of issues and tension around jobs. It's really important to show here that what we're fighting for is a transition towards greener jobs. We completely acknowledge and want people here to still have jobs and to have them safe and fair and good. So what we're fighting here for is that they take into account the fact that an energy transition is going to be happening soon and that we just have to start preparing for it.